Welcome to Love Between 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is how does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation? I can hardly speak, sorry. And this is requested to me by St. Michael the Archangel. It's because it's gonna be an intense, you know, days for those who are in a partnership especially if they are dating a karmic and that will be really a test of fate and those whom will not survive are not really meant to be but for those whom ended up in a breakup they say it's supposed to happen because you know um it's um what they call this they fail the test or they realize that they are dealing with somebody that's not really for them now is there anything else please forgive the noise guys it was raining when i filmed the video and it's getting louder and louder on my end i closed the doors and windows but still you know it was heard so please forgive if that annoys you and anyway is there anything else angels um the angels told me that relax have faith that if ever your twin was dealing with a karmic um, your twin knows who you really are to them and anyway um, if ever they're really in a third party and it annoys them some of them might give up on their third party and might be you know leaving the third party situation behind because it's annoying and it's repetitive cycle of never-ending drama so who wants to be there forever and if ever their loyal type they are now manifesting the new life that they want or new paths because i feel like when um some of them are just in a sexual encounters but not really you know real connections so of course it will show on the cards as well if this is a really serious partnership so you don't have to be jealous if it's just a fling but then the angels say if ever your person is I feel like, you know, the third party will discover that this is just, you know, for fun, relationship, nothing serious. And, of course, the third party will be mad at it, okay? So, if ever you're included in a third party situation, guys, remember that, you know, you just need to let it go and let them be because if you are the cause of their breakup you know it's a bad karma that gonna strike you so better you know mind your own business and just let them be okay don't don't get too involved okay um because if you get involved it will just be you know um a karma that's gonna come towards you so is there anything else they said what's important is you'll be aware what's gonna happen um, especially for those who are in a third party um, they will be tested the angels say at this time and it's a test of fate even for those who are not really in karmics okay and though you know fighting will never be avoided um, the angels say if you are meant to be then you are okay so is there anything else you would like to add they said what's important is you'll be aware and they keep on repeating um if the relationship really of your person was meant to be then let it be but if it's not meant to be it's karmic it's toxic now you know what will happen okay but in case scenario that your person is connected with whom they supposedly let them be okay let them go and trust the divine that they will send you somebody that really is for you and is there anything else they said that's it okay so anyway we got eight pals here number one is king of cups number two the world number three two of pentacles number four 
Page of Pentacles, number 5. Five of Pentacles, number 6. Two of Wands, number 7 is the Six of Pentacles, number 8, the Chariot. Choose wisely, don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate and let the cards call on to you. But if no cards are calling in, don't force yourself. Probably it may not resonate, okay? Just let it be. <laughs> let it flow, okay? Um, is there anything else, angels? They okay, said so that's it. So anyway, guys, just post a video if you're not yet ready. And I'll proceed now with number one. Hi guys, for those who chose number one, which is the King of Cups, here is your reading. So we'll see. How does the third party will be affected during the Venus retrograde? For pile number one, so here is the overall theme. So you got the why. This could be in either way, they tell. Truth be told. No place like home. Either way, I feel like you're dealing with a confused individual here, guys. Clean it up. I feel like they don't really know whom they supposed to be with <laughs> in terms of relationships. But we'll see. With your romance angels. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number one. Suddenly there's a bug roaming around and round. <laughs> Looks like confused bug, just like your person. Doesn't know what to do. I feel like they love to live in La La Land. <laughs> they could be someone that's happy-go-lucky and still a child, to be honest. Could be your dating or this person could be a young energy. <laughs> their child at heart that's why they don't know what to do they don't know they all <laughs> all they know is to flirt and joke around in every relationships one more they say they seem not interested on you number one and they portray that in social media but they're lying to themselves and even to you and even to the viewers of their social media. But the social media, you know, is a fake. All is just a facade of this person. And I feel like you're aware that they are liars. At the same time, they are cheaters. And I feel like you're just here just to be curious about this person. Who broke your heart, who broke your trust and everything nice. One more, because I really don't sense that you're in a loving vibration. You were mad. I feel like you argued with this person because um, they are joking around, not treating you well. And I feel like the breakup is drastic. But we'll see with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. How does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number one? I feel like your person is destined to reconcile, but then I feel like you're not wanting them back. You're just here to know what's going on with them with another person. You're not interested, <laughs> as I see. You just want to sneak peek about their life. So, I feel like your person is addicted to your energy, number one. They like you too. That's why they're confused. So, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. What is the outcome? So, why your commitment is in reverse? To be honest, your person doesn't really know what they want, doesn't care um, whom they ended up with, doesn't care about life, doesn't care of whomever they are dealing with. Okay, you could be dealing also with a bisexual person, 
they handle not only bisexual but they seem like a straight person but also a bi i don't know what it's called <laughs> if you have a lot of genders i don't know pardon me i don't know the term so we will clarify the cards angels and guides Please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. So for some, if that's a okay case scenario of your person, you're lucky that you're not with them anymore. Okay, because they're dirty. Dirty individuals. They're just playing around. And I feel like they lack self-love. They don't really love who they are. Because if they love them, if they love themselves, they should respect themselves and respect the body of other people, right? So, I feel like they're addicted to you, number one. I just don't know why. I, I really sense that they still have feelings for you, Zoe. The breakup is massive between both of you. One more. Probably they really had a good, you know, sexual encounter with you. That was only for some. Now, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you got the commitment here in reverse. So whomever they're dealing with, it's nothing serious. It's just for fun. It's not even a committed relationship. Like if they love to pose that they are with someone, no, it's not. They don't have it. Okay, they are not in a partnership, number one. This confirms it. They're not in a relationship. Probably they are just posting to make you jealous, but it's a lie. Your commitment card is in reverse. They are not in a third party. Okay, so anyway, with the wishes fulfilled. So I feel like, yeah, they're obsessive over you. Why? Because they see you as their wish fulfillment, but then because of the heartbreak that happened between you guys, they can't have the Ten of Cups. It's they're unhappy of where they are. They're unsatisfied with their life. And I feel like you're moving on from them. You release yourself. You realize that your person is toxic for you. And since you move away, I feel like that is when you start to bloom. That's what I'm seeing here. Your person, on the other hand, they're not at peace. Because they don't know what they want. They are aware that they're in love with you, but they have to let you go because, you know, you were not into them and they're aware that they can't even rush to you. They can't even reconcile because you cut them off. And suddenly my throat chakra hurt when I hold this card, so I feel like it's forbidden for both of you to reconcile. Like, not the perfect time or this person is a wrong person for you. Obviously, number one. Now, with Oriel and the Sphinx Reverse, I feel like they are somebody who really does have feelings for you. But then, the time that you guys are together, what happened here is that they are in a low vibration when they date you. Like, they don't know what they want. They're, they are in the la-la land that really grounded okay that's why you know could be they accidentally hurt you like they don't mean to probably because they're a child and i feel like enough is enough you know that this person can't even focus on you probably they are you know in the dating scene they're dating and you everyone they see and i feel like you are aware about this that's why you cut them off you you saw them cheating and not really focus on you so anyway with the king of keys in reverse yeah they're in balance themselves and the luck is not on their side it's on your side and i feel like the karma that they will get from hurting you is that they will not see the way I mean, they they don't know which way to go. They are blocked from their intuition, I feel. And they will be in balance. They will not be successful. I feel like they're not even gonna be happy with their life. I feel like that is the karma. But we'll see with the outcome. Journey. I feel like this is your outcome. You will be very happy with someone new. 
not with this person okay you cannot move on from them you don't have to worry if you haven't moved on yet then this is your future you will find your future spouse after you release this kind of energy okay don't go back to the past because you know um the other way around is far more prettier than with this guy or girl because this person on the other hand it's not really healthy for you and it's really supposed to happen okay this is another outcome that you guys need to break up because you have been giving more to this person okay and this person seemed not to realize or care about you didn't see your beauty um keeps on dating around and you're someone who's loyal you don't deserve that kind of person who don't respect you so with on track probably you're dealing with somebody that has a high sex drive could be they have been doing that to any other girls or men without you noticing but i feel like their emotions are into you even though they try to a lot of men or women i feel like they haven't moved on that's another thing that they will you know they will receive they cannot move on from you they seem to be obsessive of or care towards you so i see here that reconciliation might happen in your connection but i feel like you will not accept this person back because i feel like you're focused on whatever they did to you that's what i'm sensing and as i told you your person will remain stuck for the rest of their life feeling unhappy unfulfilled because you know um they they lose you they lose their ten of cups so on the other hand therefore your person is not really in a relationship if ever you see them posting in social media no it's just a facade it's just a way to make you jealous it's just a way to manipulate you to come back to them and be jealous and you know reconcile very aggressive individual here i feel like you can sense if it's a lie or not guys one more detail so anyway here are your charms so i feel like um they are very sad and lonely right now that you left them because they are still attracted to you they they really want to reconcile with you because they have strong feelings for you at heart and i feel like you're now listening to your intuition and you know to yourself that this is not the type of guy or girl you want okay i feel like they're in love with you probably you have a cute face okay that they like look how in love they are <laughs> yeah they're highly in love with you okay and i feel like they love to pretend to be happy even though they're not and i feel like they need some time um to mature because i feel like they're immature and i don't know why why it stick out like this probably your connection is kind of toxic or karmic okay while well, you guys are in a relationship but you didn't ended up getting married okay for some of you could be marriage but i feel like most of you are just in a relationship pardon the noise guys it's raining again um probably your person is crying right now probably so here is the book i feel like they're never tell the truth like they, they hide a lot of truth to themselves and to others as well so we'll see with their other cards what it has to say so with the passion reverse i feel like your person is not letting go of you because i feel like they realize now like they tried other men or women right but then i feel like they're losing their passion in terms of you know sexual encounters that's what i'm sensing probably this is a twin flame journey and you're guiding this person to change probably they're aware i feel like they miss you they miss your love they miss um how loving you are how sweet you are okay and they really love to kiss you or they miss the way that you touch each other you hug codependency i feel like they find you as their true love 
Okay, I will just base it on you guys because I don't really see that they are in a third party, to be honest with you. It's just a facade. No. <laughs> They're not dating anyone, okay? So, codependency reverse. I feel like they like you because you're an independent person and you don't have any addictions. That's the thing that they like and they see you as the one, their true love. That's what I'm sensing. They see your true colors. That's why they're in love with you. And I feel like you seem to be a balanced person because on their perspective, you're authentic and you don't have any family issues. If you had, you already forgiven and understand what happened in the past. But then, Romance Angels is in reverse. They're aware that you're not interested because you see them as a childish individual. And I feel like their thing that, you know, could be they back out in the relationship because could be you're somebody that they don't use validate. Okay, I told you that they are always in a dating scene. They love comparing people. That's why they are indecisive. They don't really know what they want. Though they see you as their true love. The one could be... But this person lives in La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> because it says here, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So they are kind of like a fool. Foolish person. Okay, I feel like you try to, you know, um, give them attention to be loyal to you. But I feel like it doesn't work because your person has a high sex drive. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. But you guys have the chemistry. That's why your person really wants to go back to you and flirt. <laughs> but I feel like you guys really walk away. You don't want any more. Because this person don't love themselves. Don't have self-respect either. So they want to come back. But then they're pessimistic that you will not accept them. Probably because they have money issues and you don't have. And you love. I feel like both of you are not yet dating anyone or if ever this person is it's just a fling it's a friendship or it's just a facade nothing serious both of you are single i feel like your person is aware you're just single you're not dating anyone and you're not talking to them they're aware but they want to give this connection a chance and they're aware that if they want you they have to make an effort so we'll see with your overall theme. This is a complicated person, to be honest with you all. So this is the theme. No place like home in either way. So they are in decisive energy. They are aware that you are the home, but they are doubting it. Obviously, that's why I feel like they clean you up because or they push you away because they thought that you are not their home. They thought you're in the reverse. But then I feel like with the truth be told, what they like about you is that you're authentic. You're not like them. And I feel like they usually question why they felt drawn to you. And they try their best to run away from the connection because, you know, um, they don't understand this. <laughs> okay, um... That's why they mess around and choose someone instead of you. So with the King of Cups, okay, I feel like your person is really into finding love. But then I feel like with their energy, they're just playing around. Going in circles, not knowing really what they want. Okay, so anyway, here are their messages for you. So should I clarify? They said no need, so I will just read it for you all. Push aside what used to be. So, I feel like your person still want to try to have a connection with you. They're still in love with you, as I told you. I'm stumbling in the dark, so no wonder why suddenly it rained lately. Probably they're crying about you. I am weak. So, they admit that they're weak. Because probably they got tempted. Um, Suddenly, could be... Tell me you wait, so they're really into you. You hold me up so high. I feel like they're in love with you, number one. Still, 
you are mine. They're possessive over you because, you know, you make them happy whenever you're around based on your romance angels. Loneliness starts to call. I don't want to run away. I feel like they're still in love with you. And they want to stay because they miss you. I feel like they're losing their passion in terms of love life. Because whatever they do, they still remember you. They still have feelings for you, like their emotions haven't changed at all. I feel like they're, they're very sad and lonely that you walk away already. So this is your, you know, some of your advice. Awakening and also share your voice. So I feel like this is about your person, not really about you. Now, I feel like your person have this epiphany that they can't get rid of you. No matter how many times they tried. And I feel like um, this is a spiritual journey. You guys could be in a twin flame journey. Because twin flame journeys are meant to put you in a um, spiritual direction. Spiritual path. Okay? And I feel like your person felt drawn to you. Because you know you're directing him or her in the right direction. Okay? That's what's going on. Like your connection is for this person's awakening. And share your voice. So I have a feeling that your person, I feel like they watch you in social media to be honest with you. Because they really want to talk to you. I feel like they're very sad about what happened and they still miss you. They realize your worth when you're gone. And I feel like, you know, look at that clothes of this person. Sparkling. And look at over there sparkling as well so they know that they should be a part of you that's what they think okay that's why they want to reconcile because you know um they're in these shadows um where they don't really live okay it's okay probably um their life in general that's going around in circles like they could be somebody who loves to party before covid Hang out with friends and date and elsewhere, but that is not where they sh supposedly. I feel like they should be like you. That's why they felt drawn to you, and they watch in social media and they see what you do. I feel like both of you should be a light worker. That's what I'm sensing, and I feel like you're being drawn to this person because you're guided by the angels to still preach for this person still you know try to direct them onto the right path and not to give up on them um they're not saying that you should be in a relationship they're just saying that stay in this person's life as a friend or just direct them onto the right direction if you can preach guys preach if ever you block this person, then turn it into public so that they may see. Because I see that your person still watches you from afar. Now, using fake accounts could be. Is there anything else? They said that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose number one. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number two, which is the world card, here is your reading. So, we'll see. How does the third party situation be affected by the Venus retrograde? So, we'll see. This is the overall theme of this reading. You got building blocks. In either way, they tell. So, we'll see what your oracle cards has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. How does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number two? Oops, look how intense it was, guys. We'll see. One more. I feel like you just check out your person because you don't know if they are in a third party situation or not. You're not really aware. Um, but I really sense, guys, that this person is still single. But I feel like, uh, you know, in some parts they miss you. 
That's what I'm seeing. And they even want you to reconcile. If you did something wrong, they want you to say sorry for your mistakes. On the other hand, even though they are not with you, they are standing in their power. And for some of them, they find someone new. But then they are not still in a relationship. I don't really sense any third energy here. Just them having a crush on someone could be um, about partnership. Mm -mm, no, I don't sense any. Just what they only had in mind. A partner that they want to end it up with. One more, they say. So, I strongly feel like they are manifesting someone new. They don't want an old news. I feel like they have been avoiding your social media so they won't get hurt. I feel like they're tired in this connection. I feel their tired energy. Probably they are working very hard. They're still working during quarantine. So, they love to give all the cards. And just let it be. Because there's a reason why they gave all. Don't worry, it will still resonate with your reading. Now we'll see with your tarot, angels, and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number two. If you ask about third party, they are not in a relationship. For some, they could have a crush on someone else. But not yet in a relationship. They're just flirting with that person. That's it. I feel like you still like this person though. This is overall energy that's affecting the reading, so we'll see the outcome. One more, they see. You seem to be grounded. But I feel like they're tired. They're tired of this connection that you guys had. But they will clarify to see. Probably they're working. That's why they're tired. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So we'll check. Sorry about the noise. So the angels told me that during this time you're being called on to contemplate about your life to be single and know what it is exactly that you want i feel like your person still upset of you because my left hand hurts so wonder why they seem very tired of you the situation and that's why they're letting go of you Probably for some of them, they cut cords already with you. They feel very upset. Feel like your person wants to talk a lot to you. Probably it's been years or days or months even that you haven't talked to each other. So, 
one more they say so I will give you more cards I feel like you want to talk to this person to just let it be and see what will happen so anyway this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading so wherever your person is they are standing in their power they're single but they're grounded and i feel like they're in love with somebody new after the downfall that you guys had and they don't really have feelings for you straightforward and they're not focused on their own life and they are neglecting you as you can see okay i feel like they really do have a crush and they're trying to push forward with the connection that's what i'm sensing like friendship to lovers and i feel why they don't like you probably you have been very sneaky to them and they know that you know um though they still have a little emotions i feel like they are aware that you're not really a good person for them that's why they rather walk away so that's your harsh reality there i'm really sorry i have to be blunt but i have to say what i say what i see here so this is your first card you got two worlds so whenever they remember you they remember how you broke their heart and i feel like how you guys you know didn't manage to make it through and there's imbalance in the situation and yeah there's a relationship there in your connection and they offer you the love they put an effort but then you're full of secrets that's why they're upset and they think that they're more abundant without you in their life because they already know what they want so with the ten of cups i feel like they're in love with someone new that's your third party okay that they're in love with a crush with somebody and they're taking action about it but i feel like you're very sad and upset because you see them as your four of ones and you're still in love with them but your person really let you go that's what i'm seeing here so i feel like you really want things to happen between you you and this person because this person really showed you love and i feel like you're still stuck with them you still haven't moved on because you know um you like how they love you you like how they treated you i feel like you made a mistake that's why this thing happened like you didn't end it up together so first outcome is the king of forces and i feel like during venus retrograde you might ask your friends how to get back to you um because she really does have feelings and it's overwhelming for you and i feel like you're thinking like it's gonna be hopeful but then your friends are telling you that you're just gonna fight i'm sorry this person is just gonna fight you that's what your friends are telling you and then the next is the muse in reverse so i have a feeling that a lot of people admire your person because the luck is on their side and see how these people are attracted to that girl or to that man because they're standing in their power and they're a balanced person so i feel like they really cut you off i feel like they're still mad at you for running away from them for breaking their heart for making them unhappy and taking away whatever they gave page of pentacles and i feel on the other hand you when you walk away you're not successful with someone that you you know cheated on to this person i feel like you're holding on to the connection even though this person decided to walk away not to accept you back in their life they're mad at you look at that because right now they're moving on from you yes you are in a third party because you're in love with someone else and you're mad at them because of it because you're single and you don't have anyone else and your person since they are standing in their power they are attracting a new lover that will give them a commitment i feel like that is their crush too all right so with the queen of roses i told you that their person still mad at you they still remember how you broke their heart 
how you cheated. So it's not really a good time to go back to them because I feel like you have this realization that you know you want them back because they showed you what love is at the same time you're indecisive and you want to go there but your other half of you wants to let go of this connection because you're aware that your person is mad at you and where they at they're really you know standing in their power and i feel like you're blocked with your intuition because i feel like you don't really know what you want and then you break someone's heart because of that indecisiveness of yours but we'll see on the other hand they have a crush on someone and that is what you call the third party but it doesn't mean that they are in a relationship because i don't see so we'll see with your charms i really sense with your vibe that they're sleepy like they are tired of this relationship vibe like they're not interested they're not in love with you they they are in their own world so anyway here are your charms so you got um this one so i feel like they're really mad they're really upset of what you did okay they see you as a charmer that's why you're you're dating other girls other men and you s easily fell in love that's how they see you and look at that they're still mad at you to be honest they feel like there's someone who's logical and they really put an ending to this connection i feel like they are tired they had enough of you so i wonder why they haven't gave you a lot of cards all of the cards to be honest forgiving and learning so i feel like for some of them they haven't forgiven you yet for flirting and they are in a process of really seeing you in their life i feel like they're mad because the chemistry is good with your guys with this person and you okay that's how they think they think that the chemistry is great but then they're tired of waiting for you that's what i'm sensing and they're aware that you're waiting for them and both of you are single obviously new love reverse let your friends help you so i feel like your person don't talk to their friends about this connection at all because they're busy with a new person with their crush okay and with a very soon here i feel like they're still uh, making up their mind about relationship because to be honest okay they're just flirting with their crush but basically they haven't met whomever they want to be with so obviously it's not safe for you to love this person because they're still mad that if ever you're gonna approach they will just release your hand they don't like and separation i feel like if ever you guys will meet they don't want it as heart to heart conversation um they want you to apologize to them and they are thinking pessimistic or negative about your situation um because i feel like they don't really want you back that's what i'm seeing here probably healing let them heal let them mind their own business because they feel like your person is busy at work could be they still have work during the quarantine that can be and make the effort engagement so i feel like i feel like they still remember how you really broke their heart what happened to the relationship because i see here that on their end they really make an effort but then it didn't accelerate no there's so love there they're not in love with you anymore they're freeing themselves from you and they realize that you're a playful energy you're you're not really serious with the connection that's how they see you and religious factors could be you don't have the same belief that's why you're always fighting and they think that you don't deserve love because you played around you hurt them see they don't want to reconcile because they are someone who's honest to you 
you know um but then you didn't treat them well that's why you're moving away even though you want to give this a chance so chemistry so they think that you know since the breakup happened they think that there's no chemistry because you guys are not on the same page they're loyal and you're not and they think that you're after the sex only that's what they think so that's why they're calling in a new soulmate they're in a dating scene with their crush because i feel that there's a crush there and they know you already and that's why i feel here at first i think that they're attracted to you they thought that you're the one but then it changed like they don't trust you anymore that's what i'm sensing and they are controlling you know this situation that's what i'm sensing here but sometimes they remember how this ended they they think that you're a player that's why you walk away and you didn't realize them that they could be the one you could lack self-love self-respect feel like they're not interested in you i really feel very tired with this reading and sensing their energy about the connection like they're not passionate about it and they're not even dependent on it that's why they walk away because they don't see you as their potential lover as their potential husband or wife since you cheated so anyway here is the theme so you got building blocks so i feel like you know your person is tired look at the face they are now releasing themselves from you so i feel like they're kind of busy with their work i feel like they could be a star in the social media and a lot of people are looking at them that they're standing in their power they're doing very well and they're single obviously and they just have a crush on someone so we'll see what they want to say so should i clarify so clarify everything they say so so i'm just gonna clarify the cards here angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i feel like they want to tell you please understand how i feel that's what they want to say saint gabriel say that your person is tired of your games of your mind games and you didn't see their words. That's why they are angry at you. They are mad. They're posting some things that are unsatisfying about you. And they see you as a joker. You're a joke. That's how they see you. Now, this is the first card. You lessen the distance. So I feel like they know that you want to be with them. But then look at that. They're tired. They're tired already. They don't want it anymore. They're in your eyes. I saw something true. And this is now in reverse. Because they realize that you're a liar. Like you let go of their connection. Of the connection. And then put them in a third party. Could be. And they see you as a burden. That's why they are not coming back. I didn't see the possibility. Obviously that's why they date now someone else you never gave up rivers they say because i feel like you gave up you chose someone else and they're very sad don't surrender because you can win i feel like this is what you want to tell them but if ever you tell them this they think that it's a lie Okay, they think that everything will just fall apart again if they accept you. Because I feel like they closed the doors towards you because you made them cry. You broke their heart. 
you broke the trust. And anyway, this is your advice. So you got Lemuria. Great to heaven and earth, it's happening. So I feel like they're more busy with their work. Um, their abundance and I feel like they're purging the pain about you and I feel like it's still fresh in their memory about what you did in their heart as well that's why they don't I feel like they don't really want to talk they're, they're tired of you <coughs> that's their energy okay so is there anything else they said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose number two. And send you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys. For those who chose number three, which is the two of pentacles, here is your reading. So we'll see. How does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation? Um, this is the overall theme of this reading. You got fork in the road. So, I feel like this person likes you at the same time they are dealing with someone else. But we'll see. About the romance angels. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. How does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation for those who chose number three? One more detail. So we'll see. I feel like you feel very frustrated, number three, with regards to this person. I feel like you think that your person seems not interested on you because you are aware that they have someone else. But then I feel like they tell you that that someone else is not really good to them. Or for some of you, could be they're spreading a lie that they're single, but then they have someone else. Probably you're hearing this reading because you felt thrown or you want confirmation if they really have someone. Yes, they have. To be honest with you. And they are a flirt according to the angels. Um, they're flirting around and they're doing that because they are in a toxic situation with their um, partner and they can get out because they have kids or for some of them they are married or they are in a committed partnership and i feel like they play mind games on you because they want you to stay because you're calming them down um with regards to the third party and they're making you wait one more they say for some of them they really play pretend as a single person and they didn't tell you the truth that they have someone else already feels like they really want to give you all but they can't be with you so anyway I gave you all the cards probably that's why in this reading this person showed that they love you so we'll see with your tarot angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does venus retrograde affect the third party situation of pile number three three third party one more, they say. The angels say, let them be. If they chose you, then it's good. But if you get involved, too involved. Remember that karma may happen to you. So let them be. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? This could be in either way they tell. I feel like your person really wants to tell you the truth that they are somebody with someone, okay? They, they don't want to be dishonest to you. They want to disclose it to you. 
because I feel like you deserve to be happy. You deserve to know the truth. That's why I feel like they really want to tell you the truth. If ever you don't know yet. So we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like your person likes you because you're hopeless romantic compared to their person that they're dealing with or involved with. They love to play mind games on you to make you stay. They don't want you to block them. That's what I'm sensing though you want. So one more they tell. Kind of masculine vibe in their side trying to be controlling towards you. So anyway, this is your overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you got the Queen of Forces either way. So I feel like right now you're not in control really of the situation. Like it's your person's decision. But you know right away that it feels like it's not the right thing to do to make any move. Why? Because your person is really dating someone else and you don't need to get involved. That's why I feel like the heaven is trying to stop you to manifest this person. That's why this is in either way. Because even though you're manifesting this person, it's not gonna work. And you have this hunch to stop, you know, taking any action. Because you guys are not on the same page. You're single and this person is not. And it's cheating on you could be. Now, this is the first card. So I feel like they really do have feelings for you. Okay, um, but then I feel like they haven't really is trying their best to, you know, give your attention. Um, I feel like, you know, I can hardly speak. I can even explain why. Because I feel like they haven't is sending you signs that this is not your person and you're fighting it. Okay. You seem like you're wanting this person, you put an action, but then you don't know that there's somebody else. You're not aware. Okay, so I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you let this person manipulate you. I feel here that you're ignoring what the heaven is telling you because Oracle of Delphi also is a representation. Okay, of a light worker that's listening to the divine and sending messages out there and there's a person that's writing down whatever this girl is saying. So I feel like you're ignoring whatever, you know, the heaven is telling you that this person has someone else. And the heaven is telling you that this is not your person either. That's what they want to say because this person is in the involved in a third party. I can hardly speak. Probably your person didn't tell you this yet that they are having somebody else. And you don't listen to your intuition because you're in tune with your heart. You think that you have feelings for them. That's why you go towards them even though there's a third party. And I feel like if you are aware, I feel like the angels are telling you don't go after it because it's not the right thing to do. 
So birth in reverse. So in the third party situation with the Venus retrograde here, I feel like this person will realize that, you know, they don't really love the third party and they think that they don't deserve it. That's what I'm sensing here. But they are missing you a lot because you're hopeless romantic and they are sexually driven towards you for some of you if you did already something. And they know that, you know, they can't, you know, they can deal with third parties. They should focus on their person. I feel like they will be very sad during the quarantine and the Venice retrograde because they will miss you a lot. They will feel very nostalgic without your love. So with the light of the world, I have a feeling here that for some of you, you're not really aware about it because you didn't discover that they have someone else yet. But if you will know, of course, it will break your heart. And of course, for some of you, if you really know, you need really to release your person and accept the truth that they have someone else. Okay. I feel like you will um, have a realization during the Venice retrograde about the truth with regards to them that they have someone else and i feel like the heaven will make you heal like of course if you got hurt okay um you're not on your best self you're ungrounded it's because you're in the process of healing and i feel like you need to learn something from the lesson here the angels say so i feel like currently they ask you to post in terms of your, you know, work, if ever you're working so you can heal your heart because you will know the truth. That's what I'm sensing. And with Akashic Library, I feel like on your person's side, they know that the wheel is not on their side. They, they can't even leave the third party or the other person even though it doesn't make them happy because people will think negatively of them. I feel like reputation matters to them. That's why they didn't choose you. They choose the third party. So we'll see with the outcome. First outcome is summer. So what I'm feeling here, guys, if you're not really aware that they have someone else, you might rush into their life um unexpectedly and i feel like you will discover that this person has someone else and your person will be mad at you because suddenly out of nowhere you message them and they're dealing with a third party next outcome is some use so i feel like for some of you you will not make any effort towards them you will continue on with your job with whatever you do and once that you didn't put an effort of course your person will miss you and will go towards you but then leave you because the knight of wands energy is go going after you but then will leave you again that kind of vibe so the next outcome is a queen of roses in reverse so i feel like you're gonna browse your options you're gonna you know um try to release this person because i feel like you're focused on them that's what i'm sensing so you're gonna be focused on your money your abundance and at the same time you'll browse your options because you're aware that they are not the one that you want, okay? So with the love elementals, for some of you, this is only a minimum of you. You still want to stay because you're happy with them. But then you know to yourself that this is not a good situation because you're dating someone that has someone else already. So anyway, you know the best thing to do already, number three. They're just here to give you an advice, but it's your free will on what you should be doing. So we'll talk along with your charms, number three. I feel like both of you are in love with each other, but then this person just can't give you the whole bucket since I feel like they really want, they give you all the romance angels there, but they they can't okay they still dating a third party and i feel like they admire your face they secretly admiring you 
from afar. And I feel like if ever you did something, they still remember that and fantasize of what you guys did. And they're very lonely of where they at. Because they're in love with you, but then they can't be with you. That's what I'm sensing. For some of you, you're not really aware about the truth that they have a third party. And I feel like they like you. You know, that's why, you know, they are with you. They are flirting with you. And they're dating a third party, to be honest. That is their karmic. But their true feelings is with you. They are emotional about it. Okay, could be their third party situation is always dramatic and they see you as their empress or emperor, um, the one, but then they are still dealing with the karmic and I feel like they love to browse your photos, they love to look at it, but I feel like in this situation you're being asked on to be wise enough to let go of this person, as the angels say and focus on practicality that you can't have them and they are asking you to accelerate meaning to focus on your work rather than in a third party because you know to yourself that it's bad to get involved especially if a person is already married or with someone else it's safe if they are in separation or in divorce but it's not really safe if they're still with them so here is your romance angels and they gave you a whole bucket. So I feel like you are their type and their third part is not really their type based on your charms and the reading itself. And I feel like they're not telling anyone that there's a third party situation because people know that they are already um, married or has someone else. So that's why they're not telling any anyone about your connection. And I feel like they really want to make an effort um, to you because they really like you. They are in love with you. But then they are indecisive with a very soon card here. And I feel like wherever they're involved in is really dramatic, okay? And I feel like they see you as an option that they would have once that they let go of the one that they're dating. And they really want to reconcile, go back with you. But they can accept you as a new lover because they're still with someone else. That's why they're thinking negatively about the situation because they're aware that they have to let go of the marriage and it's gonna be heartbreaking um a lot of you know processing that's why you know on their end they can't have this heart to heart conversation with you i feel like they miss talking to you they miss chatting but then right now they can't okay because especially during quarantine, they can't be with you because, of course, they are with someone. But they're attracted to you. They're in love with you. And you guys have um, a chemistry that they feel the same way to you. And I feel like you're being honest to them, but they are deceitful because they have someone. And I feel like you want them to choose you. That's what you want. But then they're stopping you because they are already involved in a third party or with someone else. Even though they like you, they are aware that you're waiting for them because you like them. You're in love. Okay? I feel like this is where you really want to give your connection a chance or you want to have this person. But then this person is ignoring you because they are with someone else already and they're very sad about it and you think that they should let go of their ex to have you because i feel like they're not letting go of their partner that's what i'm sensing here and i feel like you're being authentic as well as this person Especially if they tell you the truth. If they tell you the truth, they are truthful and honest to you. That they can't, you know, accept you because they have someone else. But if, you know, they kept it, they see you as someone that is honest to them. And you're independent person. That's what I'm seeing here. They're sexually driven to you, to be honest. 
and I feel like with your connection, I feel like it's forcing them to let go, break away from their relationship with this third party. But some of them, they just can't because they have kids with this person. Just like what resonates, guys. Finances and career and chemistry reverse. So I feel like it's more on about their karmic. Like they don't have the chemistry that you guys had. Okay, and that's what they realize and could be you guys are colleagues. They don't want to create a conflict. But then I feel like they really want to flirt with you. They enjoy their time being with you. But then with religious factors, I feel like it could be because they're married and it will be a disruption of the marriage if they would choose you. But you're, you're very tempting to their eyes. That's how they see you. And this could be the one. So I feel like they're aware that whomever they have is not really the one for them. That's why they really want to go towards you and retreat go away from this karmic partner but they know they are aware that it's not safe okay yet because they're still with this person that's why they can't reconcile with you and they don't trust that this connection will work though they see you as their true love they just can't get to you because you know they have to admit that they have someone else and they're very sad because whomever they're dealing with, this person doesn't have self-love. They don't have romantic feelings for this third party. And they're not passionate about the third party. So that's how they feel. I feel like they're very sad when they come to realization about this. So this is the overall theme. So you got fork in the road. So I have a feeling here that they still want you in their life. They want to juggle you with the other person. But you know to yourself that it's unhealthy and you need to change your path. So I have a feeling here that the angels want you to know that you have to move forward because if you get involved with a third party we all know that it's a bad karma okay just let them be let it flow naturally okay let them be let them make that decision to leave the third party and it will be safe if they they left okay so anyway here are their messages for you number three so should i clarify Okay, yes, I should, they say. So, I will just place the cards here. So, I will clarify it, guys, since the angels asked me to do that for you all. So, I will clarify your cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the messages of the person of number three for them. One more. Reconciliation might happen between you guys during the Venus retrograde because, you know, they really have deep feelings for you. And I feel like they see you as their crush, their ultimate partner to be, their dream person, their wife, their husband material. But then they just can't accept it. It's just a dream. They're very sad about it. Like um, the song, it's sad to belong to someone else is what they feel. One more they say. They really want you, but they can't. You feel like you're aware. That's why you're letting go and you have to, number three. Because it's a bad karma, you know, it keeps on repeating. <laughs> Keep on repeating myself, sorry. So you got this card, you are my shelter from the storm. Probably you are their best friend and you're always there for them whenever they have a downfall. And I feel like they appreciate that. They remember how you treated them whenever they feel very sad, you're always there. And that's why, you know, even though they put a facade that they're an emperor, you have emperor twice, that they're in control, they're dom a dominant person. I feel like you soften their heart whenever you do good things on them. 
that's how they feel now the next card is can this be love so they really are in love with you number three and they see really a future with you like you understand them you nurture them but you know they're very sad that if they get you they will juggle two people so you got two pentacles twice in your reading and i feel like they don't really want to have you involved in a third party because they're aware that it's bad but then they really does have feelings for you overflowing of emotions but then it's a burden because they are in a partnership already and i feel like you know it's stressing them out whenever they think about the third party and you and it's draining their energy because they're very sad that they have someone else and then it's late that they found you now the next is i need you so that's why they want you to stay because they are in love with you to be honest number three and i feel like they are pushing them to take that leap of faith because this is the full card in this style and they know that it's not the right thing to do so you got the temperance card in reverse twice this is reverse as well so i feel like the heaven is telling you it's not the right thing to get involved in a third party because even though this person will take that leap of faith of course it's a discord because it's gonna be because of you that's why they did that so avoid triggering your person and make you as a reason why they they chose you um or break the connection because it's gonna create a bad karma guys so please don't do that okay just let them be let the situation unfold itself you are the road that leads me home so anyway they see you as their home but then they can't take your cup because they are have they have kids, they have a family, and I feel like they're upset whenever you trigger their heart because they can give it to you. They they can go towards you. Like even if you show them your cards that you're interested, you're in love, they can show you the cards. They can be with you. So if ever they're playing single, I feel like they didn't you know, they didn't they didn't show the cards because you will walk away i feel like they're in love with you that's why they try to get you even if they are in a partnership already and stay here with you so i feel like they are in love with you they still trying to flirt they i feel like they don't really have feelings for anyone else except you that's how they feel and they see you as their soulmate or twin flame whatever you call it okay I feel like they see that you guys have that chemistry. That's why they like you. You work together like you're a power couple. That's how they see it. They see a potential in the connection. But then they're very sad because they have someone else. Okay. You have someone else already and they're protecting that connection. But then at the same time, they're flirting. I feel like somehow they feel kind of guilty of loving you but then they have someone else so we'll see what is the advice for you number three warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling so what they want you to do is to handle the truth that they have someone else okay and you need to do what you have to do is to cut the cords and walk away because don't be a hindrance to you know their connection let the situation unfold itself naturally because as you can see you know there's no chemistry they're not meant to be right and you're just staying there waiting for something to happen okay but then nothing is happening why because i feel like they haven't don't really want you to cut this connection off because it will get you one day don't take it badly with the heaven they're just trying to protect you from having a bad karma number three 
They love you. That's why they're protecting you. And they're asking you guys to let go of this person. Accept the truth that they have someone else and you can't be with them. That's why you have to leave. Okay? And trust that you find that there's someone else for you out there. Because you don't interfere. Okay? If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Okay? But if it's not meant to be, then we have to accept it. Right? So that's what you need to know. Number three. Next, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So you could be the chaser here in this case scenario and they have someone else. And I feel like you need to align. You need to know where you stand, number three. Okay? Because where we stand, if it's a third party situation, it's nothing. Okay? We're just on the background of two lovers that's kissing each other even if they're not meant to be. <laughs> Okay, that's where we at if we are in a third party. But if you really like this person, then you have to let them go. Remember the song that, you know, if you really love someone, you have to let them go. Right? So, I know that it's hard number three. I know that most people, you know, Based on my experiences whenever I do live, I really want to cry for them. Because I know that it's very hard to, to love someone that's in a third party and you're not getting the attention that you deserve. Um, it's because where we stand in a third party, we're out of the picture, guys. We'll be the bad person if we are able to, you know, to win against a third party and people will look at us in a bad way because we're the influencer we influence them to cheat and it's not a good thing it's um a bad karma will come after us if we do that but if you let it be if you let it come naturally like they have a terrible fight to the point that they let go of the connection that they have with a third party, then it's normal. Because that's their fight and it doesn't base on you. Right? So that's what you need to do, number three. Let them be. Okay? Let them go. Go with the flow and understand um, the situation why you can't get involved. And don't be, af be afraid to let go. Because, you know, what is meant to be is meant to be. And if you're meant for someone, it could be. And if you're meant with this person, someday it will. But right now, you don't have to get involved, number three. You've done what you need to do. Like you show this person what true love is and that's enough. I feel like you're just triggering them. Okay? That they are in a karmic situation. That's what you need to this person needs to be aware of. Okay, so is there anything else? They said what's important is you're here in this reading, especially for those people who are not aware that your person has a third party. Yes, they, they have. That's why you're here. To be honest, number three, I have some piles that says that the person that they have doesn't have any you know, third party, but in your case scenario, you chose this pile, so it means that they really does have, okay, so this is an awakening for you, so you now know what you need to do, number three, okay, so is there anything else, they said that's it, so thank you for watching, those who chose number three, and sending you all peace, love, and light, bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number 4, which is the Page of Pentacles, here is your reading. I feel like whomever your person is feels heartbroken, probably because of you. Now this is the overall energy, I'm sorry, not energy, overall theme of this reading, peace. So I feel like your person wanna make amends with you. Because they include you in a third party. But then we'll check. Herman's Angels. 
angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number four one more they tell so i feel like this person is depressed having anxiety issues that they can go to sleep thinking about reconciliation thinking about you how to go back to you how to make up break up and make up and i feel like on your end you don't want to try at all but this person really likes you i feel like they browse your social media for most of you or for some of you Okay, yeah, you felt thrown on pick a card readings about who's gossiping about you or who's browsing your social media. It's because this person is. But you're aware that, you know, you guys can't be together because they are with someone else. And I feel like you respect that. You respect that they have someone, but then this person still doesn't want to let you go. Though it hurts. I feel like you walk away because it hurts to see them with someone else. And I feel like um, for some of you, you are with someone else. But you'll we'll check with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know how does Venus retrograde affect the third party situation of those who chose number four. One more they tell. So the Queen of Forces Rivers. One more they tell. So we'll see. This is a lot. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? So I feel like they have a huge crush on you. But it hurts that they can't have you. But they will clarify. Could be you're the one who has a partner. That can be, but it will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So we'll see. I feel like you're in love with you. One more they tell. I sense the song. You know that we're meant to be. I don't know the song. I don't know the title.
let me remember the song so I think that I have to write it down but after I put the clarifiers okay I will I will try to remember for you all I think that it's an important message for everyone here so one more they are deeply in love because they are inspired by your glow I feel like you're a good teacher could be or you're a mentor even if they have someone else or you have someone else they still like you that's what I'm seeing I don't know it could, it could be vice versa for number four I'm really confused to be honest with you all like I'm not sure if it's the person that you have or you have other you have someone else and you like someone else as well very confusing energy here but just take what resonates number four and they want to give all the clarifiers probably they want to explain all of it so anyway i'm gonna write down your song right so i was able to write the songs okay so let's place it here glad that i remember <laughs> the title guys so anyway here is your overall energy so you got diversity so i have a feeling here that you know your person is very defensive like they want you to be with them like even if you're with someone else or they're with someone else just take what resonates but i feel like you're someone whom is aware that they have feelings but you have to let go you have to do the right thing okay if ever you're in a partnership or if ever you know that they are it's very confusing because I sense that those who chose number four, either you or your person has someone else. Clearing the way, so if ever whomever is included in a third party situation or in a partnership, they're not willing to let go because they could be the provider in the connection or they could be, you know, actually the mother of the kids and that's why oh i just noticed that this guy in the picture has his eyes closed and they just mind as well not really tap in to the connection itself because it's risky but then your person on the other hand is really wanting you so badly like they are aware that they have feelings for you and i feel like with the ten of swords being in reverse i feel like they are avoiding heartache whoever is um dating someone is just avoiding the collision the collide of what will happen in the family if ever they had or in their partnership so whomever is in the partnership in this situation will not make any move will not speak out because they're avoiding the tower moment they don't like the third party situation so they run away they are the runner whomever is included in a third party and they're not want to you know be involved in this connection um because it will trigger them to let go of their family or the one that they are dealing with just take what resonates it could either be you or this person and i feel like whomever is a chaser in your connection they're still in love with you they they're still in love with the person that was included in a third party and they're crying about it because they see that whomever was included there in the lovers thing um they're aware that that person is running away and i feel like whomever is wanting the one who's in a partnership you know um knows the truth and the chaser here on the other hand doesn't want to accept the truth that whomever they wanted was has someone else that's why they can push forward the relationship 
It's very confusing here. Akashic filled in rivers. So I feel like the chaser here needs to look within if they really does have feelings for whomever this is and learn to listen to the intuition because I feel like with the justice, um, whomever is a chaser, you know what the right thing to do, that what you're doing is not really good or what this person is doing not really good. Say so what resonates, it will destroy a relationship. That's what I'm seeing here. And the heaven is wanting this chaser to look for the other options out there. Um, but I feel like whomever the chaser is really does have strong feelings towards the one who's in a relationship. That's why I feel like it's very hard for them to look for someone new. Because they're not passionate about it. Because they're aware that they have feelings for the third party or whomever has a, someone else. Okay? And I feel like whomever is a chaser is always watching the social media of the one that they're interested in. Okay? Though it's hopeless. So, you know, they can just be friends. And... Actually, they're aware. I feel like whomever is involved in a third party also has feelings, but then um, they can't let go of their could be daughter or son. They could have kids with someone else. Oh dear, this is like a Romeo and Juliet thing. <laughs> okay, this is very sad. Both of you has the same feelings. But then the other is taken, and this is very sad. And I feel like they are forcing themselves, whomever the chaser is, forcing themselves to be happy even though they're single. And they're still waiting if there will be a chance in this third party situation. But then I feel like it's hurting them. That's what I'm seeing here, whomever is the chaser. They are aware that, you know, Whomever is in a partnership, they don't really want a third party situation. That's why they let go of the situation. And I feel like even the other one who is having this relationship also have anxiety because all they can offer is friendship. And, you know, they can't be with this person because they have someone else already. Okay, and they're aware. That they can be the empress or the nurturing vibe because they are dating someone else. So I feel like whomever is involved in a relationship, they're just doing the right thing to do to run away. Okay? But the chaser, on the other hand, still wants this person, though it hurts. I feel like both of them does, but the other one in the party or in a relationship let go. Because it will end whatever they have, okay, have accomplished with their partner. And it will take a leap of faith to make an action. That's why they rather ignore, okay, those who are in a relationship. So this is the outcome. So whomever is a chaser here, okay, I feel like you will, they will not let go because you're in love. But then it will force them to be in the king of kiss energy, wherein it will force them to just focus on work rather than love life because they are aware whomever they're in love with um, is the one that they really want. That's what I'm seeing here. But on the other hand, whomever is in the partnership, I feel like they will continue on being with that person because that is the right thing to do. They don't want to cheat. And then the next outcome is the lightning bolt. So, you know, there will be a chance that the one in a partnership will let go of, you know, their partner. That's what I'm seeing here. So the next outcome is Archangel Michael. So I have a feeling here that the feelings is the same. Okay, both of them has the same feelings. But then I feel like it will require an ending of the relationship. Hmm. 
We'll see what else. So I feel like the chaser may not give up because they have feelings for this person and they will still try to come in even though it's not needed. I feel like if ever the chaser push forward, I feel like it will end the connection forcefully because, you know, the one who's the chaser is aggressive, doesn't want to let go. And what happened here is that the one that in a relationship will sudden have a fallout because whomever is the chaser forced themselves to come in. Okay, that's another thing. So the next outcome is the views of the ego. So I have a feeling here that whomever is in a relationship will have an epiphany that whomever they are with is not really, you know, what they want, okay? And that is when they will give a chance to the chaser. That's what I'm saying here because deep within their heart, they really does have feelings. But then I feel like they, they will cut off their partner. Okay, because they realize that they, this person is not the one that they want, so they will break free, they will be single. Okay, that's, that's gonna happen. So the next outcome will be Royal and the Sphinx. So I feel like there's a chance for the chaser to listen to the divine that it's not the right thing to do to chase because they have someone else, the person that they want. So I feel like Hmm, I feel like this is so sad for the chaser because of course they will heal um, about the situation and they need to make up their mind if they will still live in La La Land that this could be possible or they need to release themselves since the person that they want has someone else. This is very hurtful. So anyway, we'll see about the outcome. So. I'm sorry about the charm. So there's a lot of possible outcomes he here. But when it's retrograde, we'll make, you know, the one in a relationship wake up that, you know, whomever they are with really is not the one for them or they are not really interested with that person. Could be they're dating a karmic that can be. So, speaking of karmics, they gave you that karmic one. So, anyway, here are your charms. So, I feel like both of you have the same feelings for each other. But then, you know, whomever is in a relationship, they can move things forward. And it's the chaser who's making it move. And they're not happy. Of course, the one in a relationship, they're not happy about it because... You know, um, they're being forced on by the chaser to let go of the one that they have. And, you know, the one who is in a relationship, it's a karmic relationship. That's where they at. And this could be a twin flame journey. You guys both feel the same way and felt thrown to each other. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like divine timing is at work here. Just, you know, if ever you're the chaser, give them, give your person some time and space, okay? To be wise, to think about it, okay? Because I feel like your intuition is telling you to let things go if you're the chaser. That's what I'm saying here. Let, um, let it unfold naturally. That's what they want to say. So I feel like both of you are in love with each other. And I feel like both of you are attracted to each other's faces. Could be you look alike. <laughs> okay, that can be. Okay, but I feel like this connection is really heartbreaking, emotional. And both of you are crying because you can't be together. Because one of you has someone else. But then both of you feel very happy. Whenever you're together, you're in love. But then, you know, the one in a relationship is putting a cold shoulder on the chaser because they know that they can't do anything. 
And I feel like both of you are in love with each other's face, yeah. And you keep each other's pictures. That's what I'm sensing here. Or if there will be a chance, you browse pictures of each other and you look at each other as their queen and queen. But then the chaser is being called on by the divine to do what's the right thing to do. And I feel like... Okay, both of you have this nurturing vibe for each other. Like, you love each other, and the one who is in a relationship really wants to leave their partner, but they can't, okay? This is very sad. Kind of Romeo and Juliet vibe. Okay, so we'll see with this one, okay? So, with your romance angels, I see that, you know, um, the chaser is flirting and it's triggering the one in a relationship to let go. But then, the one who's in a relationship is really avoiding the connection, though it hurts that the attraction is there. And the chaser really still loves the person that's in a relationship. But the one in a relationship is obviously not into it but I'm still holding on to this person and it's triggering them to let go of whomever they're dating and make up their mind because I feel like the chaser is the one who's putting in an effort so there's blockages this chaser really likes the person that they are into and whomever the chaser is doesn't want a new lover because they're in love with the one who has a partner already. And with the passion and romantic feeling. So I feel like whomever has a partner already really doesn't feel passionate about their person. And I feel like they will have an epiphany during the Venus retrograde that they don't have feelings, passion to the one that they married to or in a partnership with and for the chaser they're aware that it's not safe to love because the one that they're dealing with has a family or has someone else and they're aware and the one who's having a family or in a relationship really is controlling their emotions because they don't want to ruin what they have okay so with keep an open mind i feel like the one that they are involved with is really you know i'm um, not satisfying for them that's why they felt drawn to you and they love to compare you with your partner you know um those who has a relationship okay just like what resonate guys so i feel like with calling in your soulmate so, I have a feeling here that both parties think that, you know, you guys are drawn to each other, you have the feelings, and I feel like it's a deep soul connection because both of you has this past life relationship. That's why the bond is really strong between you guys. And the chaser is waiting for whomever is in a partnership because... They see this person as their true love and they don't want anyone else. But then it hurts for the chaser's part. I feel like they are being pushed on to love themselves first. And I feel also the one that in a partnership is deeply in love, okay, with a chaser. But then they... They don't trust the situation um, that it will happen, like reconciliation will happen because it's very impossible in the perspective of those who are in a relationship. They can't even tell their friends about it or family because of course, you know, they're, they are dating someone else already. So anyway, here is the overall theme. So you got the peace. So whomever is in a relationship, okay, really want um to be at peace. Like they don't want to go after the chaser because it's the right thing to do. It's the wise decision. But I feel like the chaser is really in love. Okay, they they still hang out there waiting for their 
um, soulmate to come forth, but it's not gonna happen yet. Okay, um, because I see that even though they like the chaser, they're gonna do what's the right thing to do. So here are the song for you, number four. So you got You Are My Inspiration by Chicago. So I write down what felt thrown to me with regards to your reading. You know our love was meant to be, the kind of love that lasts forever. And I want you here with me from tonight until the end of time. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. You bring feeling to my life. Want to have you near, have you near me. I know that it's plain to see. So in love and we're together. So forgive me, I can hardly speak. And then the next is, Everywhere I go, you're always on my mind. You're in my heart, in my soul. I want to have you hear me saying, no one needs you more than I need you. When you love somebody till the end of time. So I feel like this is the message of the chaser for the one who is in a partnership. Like you inspire them. You're the inspiration by Chicago. So I feel like they will stay for you. Okay, if ever you're the one in a partnership, just take what resonates, guys. So, here are their messages for you, number four. So, should I clarify? They say I have to clarify, so I will clarify for you guys. So, just take what resonates, guys. I will just tell if it's from the chaser or from the one who's in a relationship, okay? So, we'll see. We will clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the messages of the person of number four for them. I feel like they, they want you to know how much they love you. For if your person is dating someone else, but they just can't accept your love because they have someone. One more shuffle, they say. So you got this card. So you got I'll keep on searching. So I have a feeling here that you know um, tries to see if they can find someone else new. As you can see in the cards there, there is okay. Like your person whom who is a chaser here tries to find someone new even though it hurts. Next is you guide me. So, I feel here like, okay, whomever is the chaser here wants to be guided what it is that you want, okay, from the connection or from them. That's what they want to know, you to know for those whom are in a relationship. So, you are the truth. So, if ever... You know, um, you're dealing with somebody that is in a relationship. They want to say you are the truth. Like you're being honest on what you feel because, you know, this person feels the same way too. Next is, it's still a mystery. So I feel like both of you wants to tell each other this because I feel like really both of you feel the same way but 
both of you need to put it in a secret because one of you are in a relationship and that in person in a relationship really is closed off but then they feel okay they feel that they have feelings for the chaser so anyway next card it's an uphill climb and i'm feeling sorry so if ever you're dealing with someone that has a karmic connection um they feel very sorry that they can't accommodate you though they are aware i see that they are aware that they really does have feelings for you but they just can't acknowledge it okay I feel it, yeah, the chemistry is really there and you guys are not even fighting, but they have to cut you off because that is the right thing to do, that they need to put an ending to the third party situation because, you know, it's not healthy to have it, to have it while, you know, you guys are there dating someone. So I knew what my life was all about. So I feel like this is the message of the chaser, right? That you are the inspiration. So I feel like you inspire this person if ever you're dealing with a chaser, okay? And you are their star, you are their inspiration, they are in love. That's what I'm seeing here. But then I feel like they're very sad that you have someone else. And I feel like they still want to give you love even though you're closed off. Even if you have someone else. Because I feel like they think that you really is the one for them. So I've never seen such a lovely queen. So I have a feeling here that, you know, if you're... Both of you see each other as a loving person or uh, such a beautiful or handsome person. So if you're a guy watching this, they want to say, I've never seen such a lovely king. So I feel like they're really in love with your beauty, despite of the third party situation here. So I'm in love. So I feel like it's both parties. Like they, I feel like the chaser here want to say, um, that they're in love with you, that's why they are manifesting you in their life. And they see you as your ten of hearts. That's why they keep on putting an effort, loving you from afar. Even though it's impossible. So the next card is, I know this much is true. So they really does have strong feelings for you. Again, number four. I feel like this is the message from, you know, the one in a relationship. They have feelings too, and it's so strong. And they see that it's very different from the one that they have right now. And they are hurt that they can't offer you anything. And, you know, um, but they see you as the one too. But, you know, they are in a relationship situationship the angels say so we'll see what are the advice for you number four so you got anna grandmother of jesus sitting in the light laying foundations divine plan so i have a feeling here that you have to let things be the angels say and let you know the divine um what they call this the divine made it flow or make it happen make it work what's meant to be is meant to be guys okay just go in with the flow of the divine basically trust the nickel what is the niggly feeling trying to tell you so if ever you are in a partnership you have to trust your nickel that whomever the chaser is is what you really have feelings for and you see that your partner is not really resonating with you i feel like you're vibrating higher that's why suddenly those people that are in a low vibe you don't really sense that they are your soul tribe so it really freaks you out i think but i feel like you have to trust and have faith i feel like they are preparing you for the next phase of your life that you need to let go of your partner um, I want to share you guys that, you know, what's meant to be is not really meant to be. To be honest, I was in a relationship with my karmic for nine years with my ex-husband. And things didn't go well with that nine years. We always argue and my ex-husband really doesn't, um, they 
he cares much about his family, but our family in general, he doesn't really care. And it's really a toxic situation. And you know, they haven't really, you know, plays a huge part in my relationship because the heaven is the one who did this to make it happen that I will break free from our connection. I thought that that was my forever because, you know, it's very hard to get out of our marriage, right? But the heaven made a plan. Like one night after, you know, my ex-husband's father heard me, um, you know, angels came to me and say, pack your things and leave the house. So that's what happened. And I followed the angels. So here I am now. I am free. I feel like same with you guys. That, you know, um, you're right. That the person that you currently have right now is not really you know, your real partner that is a karmic. You just need to let go and learn from it. I know that it hurts, but one day you will see. Okay, so the next card is mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So I have a feeling here that both of you mirror each other, the chaser and the one in a relationship. And I have a feeling here that both of you have the same feelings. Um, and you see each other's true colors. That's why you're in love with each other. So the next is Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So if ever you are in a partnership, okay, I feel like you have some nudges that you really need to let go of this toxic connection that you have with your partner so i feel like during the venus retrograde you're being given a chance to break free to let go and let god so is there anything else they said um for those who are in a karmic partnership your um your relationship will be tested once again so you may have a terrible you know um, fight or argument with your karmic person or there could be a circumstances wherein you will realize that you had enough. So is there anything else? They say make way for change. If you want change, you have to make way. The angels say you have to accept the truth that this karmic is not really your partner and the one that's really made for you is this one who's the chaser. So if ever you're the chaser here, just let things flow and let God and let the divine do this for you. Because um, if you keep on chasing and you're aware that they have someone else, you know, it will not work out. Because the heaven is just avoiding you to have a bad karma. So just let things flow. Okay, um, because I see that it will run in your favor anyway. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Those who chose number four and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.